There's been a virtual explosion of biomedical knowledge over the last century, and we're teaching different material in medical schools. However, our approach to teaching that material really hasn't changed over that time period. The foundational facts of medicine are taught in large lecture halls, uh, the veritable sage on the stage. I'm a big believer that human beings are in a room together. They should be interacting with each other. If you have 300 people in the room, the, the, at least in my mind, one of the worst things you could do is one person lecture to the other 299 people. Students have little opportunity to really engage with the material, so they struggle with understanding its relevance, and they really are unprepared then for their bedside instruction when they have to take the material that they've learned and apply it to the patients that they're taking care of. Medical school is filled with facts, but facts are fragments of knowledge. We have the opportunity in these early years of medical school to create a foundational context for these facts so that the students will be excited about combining their knowledge of biology with the diseases they will learn about in their patients. This curriculum was created to make the material come alive for the students and to inspire them to really master the knowledge they need to take care of their future patients. ...that his tracheal and bronchial epithelial cells. By engaging the students through patient stories and using the technology we have today to animate and narrate those stories... We have the power to create these new teaching tools that really bring the basic sciences to life. We can show the preclinical medical students the links between basic microbiology and the infections they'll see in their patients. This frees up the lecture time for truly interactive sessions where the students work together as part of a medical team in the classroom, where they integrate the basic science foundational facts with the clinical information, skills that they will need as they enter their clinical training. So relapsing fever with spirochetes in blood. Students have been involved in every step of this process. We've been working with the faculty and giving constant feedback to make sure that the material is clear, compelling, and relevant. It's really rewarding to have this opportunity to impact the education of other medical students all across the country. Two days later, I get a call. This also lets us bring the basic scientists into the classroom and allows the basic scientists and the clinicians to really collaborate in teaching the medical students. <laughs> the learning is more fun. The material is more engaging. It's more efficiently delivered and it will stay with the students into their futures.